wondering why I am sitting in front of what looks like a heap of garbage. <laughs> it's actually not garbage except for one bag. Uh, one bag is garbage, but the rest is actually clothing donations, and this is only about half of it. I went ahead and did the clothing purge I talked about in my last video where I reviewed the life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo. I used her method pretty much um, to do the clothing purge and I thought I would walk you through it. I actually did most of this yesterday and then finished up today. Um, it, it probably takes about a full day. I didn't start yesterday until sort of mid-afternoon. Um, so if you're going to do something like this, I recommend putting aside a whole day for it or like two half days. Uh, but it went really, really well. I was blown away by A, the sheer amount of clothing and accessories I had. Like I knew I had a lot of things because I have a lot of space to store things in um, and they were pretty filled up. Um, but I, I mean, there is nothing quite like putting all of your clothing, like your, basically your entire wardrobe in a pile on the floor to see exactly how much you have. Um, I guarantee you, you will be shocked. It may seem like my pile is huge and I, I agree it is, but I recommend making your own pile before judging because you will be shocked by the size of your pile as well. And I mean everything. I mean the KonMari method suggests pulling all of your clothing out. And I think the reason that she suggests that is because it really is shock value. It really shows you just how much you have. And when you're sorting through it and like picking things up and putting things away or, or you know, de designating them to give away or trash or whatever you're doing with your items, it is just, it is really, like, sitting in the middle of the pile is just a really very strong and powerful experience. Um, and it really does something um, to your mind and, and to your way of thinking. So I think that's, I think that's a really beneficial part of her um, clothes purging, uh, which is why I decided to give it a go. And it was kind of a pain to pull everything out of my closet and everything out of my drawers and everything from everywhere that was clothing or wardrobe related, but in the end, totally worth it. So like I said, I kind of went ahead and shared my process with you vlog style, and I'm going to insert that footage now for you. From start to finish, I show you all of my drawers and my closet as they were before the process, and then I show you um, how I went through everything. And then in the end, I take you through and show you my drawers and closet now, and show you what I'm getting rid of and where I am donating it um, and why. Uh, so I hope you guys are interested in this. Uh, it was really a very powerful experience, like I said. Um, and uh, if you'd like to see how I went about doing it, keep watching. Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. It's kind of a cold and gray day and it just feels like the right time to embark on the home purge process. I'm starting with my clothes, as I previously mentioned. And I thought I'd give the Con Marie uh, method a try for this especially. I just thought it kind of sounded like it would be a good idea for the clothing at the very least. And if you're not familiar, that is Marie Kondo's method from the her bestseller book, The Ma Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Um, so I'm basically going to go through my clothes by type of clothing. But first I thought I would take you through my closet and show you it is as it is now and also my drawers so we can see after when I've put everything back if there's a noticeable difference or not. I'm um, just kind of, you know, wanting to do a proper before and after. Also I'm keeping it real, no makeup day, um, just a little tinted face moisturizer so I don't scare you all with my face. <laughs> And I'm um, just gonna, gonna keep it real here. So I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can and let's get started. So this is my closet. Yes, it is very large and long. We call it the bowling alley. And it is the exact same organization and setup as I showed you guys in my um, series last summer. Uh, and I really haven't change any of it but I'm just gonna give you kind of a quick overview of the closet in case you missed that I've got robes on the back of the door um, my hats and flip-flops hanging on the wall and then I have all of my shoe organization those are empty shoe boxes at the top I kind of just saved my like 
fanciest shoe boxes and then I have um, clear shoe boxes from the container store with all of my shoes in them and then my boots um, hanging in the bottom with boot shapers also from the container store. The drop front boxes uh, have all of my sweaters and jeans and kind of folded pants. And then on my hanging things, it goes from sweatshirts to running gear to golf and tennis gear to some hanging pants and skirts. And then on the top, it goes from sleeveless tops to short sleeve and then collared shirts with sleeves, my longer kind of open sweaters, and then jackets in the very back there. And then if we go down the hallway a little bit, see all my dresses and I kind of have them organized by season so more spring summer dresses in the front and more fall winter dresses in the back and that is all my clothing um, in the back of the closet here I have all of my handbags and accessories stored um, in these drawers uh, so there's that. The other side of the closet is um, my luggage um, storage, and I'm not going to go be going through that right now because that's not what I'm doing today, but that's just what's in the rest of the closet for the most part. There's my dog, Winnie. She does not know what's happening. And then my husband's clothes are on this side. Um, I'm not going to be going through his things because they're not my things to go through. Um, but this is all of his clothes storage. But then at the tippy top, I have some special seasonal clothing, um, like holiday clothing, kind of holiday themed clothing that I'm going to be going through today as well. Um, and that's everything in my closet. So I have one drawer in my nightstand that I put clothes in and it's the last drawer down and it has my bathing suits in it um, and related bathing suit wear. It doesn't look neat but it, it is. It's hard to fold and store bathing suits isn't it? I have clothing in this dresser set as well uh, so I'll go through that. In this top drawer we have slipper socks. I like my slipper socks and then in here we have uh, workout kind of sweatpants and um, uh, bathing suits that are, you know, speedo style and uh, bicycle gear, bicycle wear, biking wear. This is my um, workout undergarment, so I have sports bras and underwear that I wear for my workout gear. This is all workout gear on this side. Um, this is all kind of yoga related things, so all my yoga pants, these are all capris, um, leggings, and those are pants length, tops. In this drawer, I have, um, you know, mesh shorts and loose tanks and t-shirts and more workout gear. I do a lot of working out, so I have a lot of workout gear. And then in the bottom drawer, I have all my running gear. It's all very specific running clothes. The next set over, I have all of my socks um, from everyday socks, kind of specialty socks. And then these are all tanks and undershirts, camis. All of my t-shirts and then kind of decorative tank tops that I wear mostly on their own. And then long sleeve shirts and um, kind of sweatshirt jumper style shirts. I have tights and tight leg -like socks in here. And then lastly in this cabinet I have um, yoga DVDs on the bottom shelf but on the top shelf I have my shorts and capri length um, pants. Lastly, in this bureau here, which I share with my husband, I have mostly undergarments and loungewear. This is my everyday underwear and the like in there. And in this drawer, I have um, bras. I have a lot of bras, and I'm actually planning on getting rid of quite a lot of those. The middle two sets of drawers are my husband's. And then in the bottom drawer here, I have nightwear. So this is like sleeping things, nighties and, and such. And in this one, I have pajama pants and some kind of loungy pants and underwear and things like that too. So that's everything I have currently in my clothing collection. I'm gonna go through it all. I've prepped by pulling out some of my crunch cans. You can get those at the container store too. Those are great if you do a lot of purging or you know, have a lot of like big plush toys if you have kids or whatever to store. Um, they, fold, they crunch up hence the name Crunch Can, to a very small size. So I've got three of those, one for clothes to donate, one for clothes to 
for consignment, um, for specialty consignment shops that don't that are nonprofit donations. So that's for kind of like nicer things, and then one for either overflow or trash. I think trash because I know I'm gonna have to end up throwing away a couple of things. I also pulled out this bin, which is another kind of crunch can that I had in my closet with clothes that I had already um, pulled over the past couple of months. So I think the last donation I made was in December for a clothing drive. Um, so since then, I tend to pull things out periodically. I'm just gonna sort those into those bins, but I thought I'd add it to the mix. And I have my um, book here so I can follow the way uh, of going. And so I'm gonna start, as she suggests, by dumping all of my tops, which includes shirts and sweaters, etc., on the floor in a big heap, and we're gonna go through them. And I'm gonna kind of touch each item and see if it brings me joy. closet. I left the scarves in because I'm not doing accessories. I realized that it was going to be too overwhelming. I'm going to do that separately. And I'm not going to do shoes until I make room on my floor. So I'm going to save those things for after the clothes. Um, but I'll just show you. All of my drawers are empty. Um, those are just like the straps that go with my bras. But if I get rid of the bras, I will put the straps with them. All my drawers are empty. I mean, they are all, I promise you, they are all 100% empty. Again. Okay, they're all empty. Um, and now, the most surprising part is this. Holy cow. I had no idea I had that much, that much clothing. Like, whoa. I can see why she suggests dumping it all on your floor at once because it really puts it into perspective how much you have. And I can honestly say with any regularity, I probably wear at least less than half of that, um, probably close to a third of that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, go through the, I kind of clumped things by type. So tops, bottoms, dresses, and then um, like under things, sleeping wear, specialty things, and like workout clothes. That's kind of the, how I clumped things. I decided not to pull up my jackets and stuff from the mudroom. I'm going to do that separately. That's too overwhelming for me right now. Um, this seems like enough to go through. So um, according to her book, she suggests starting with tops and then moving on to bottoms and then all the other hung things socks underwear i'm going to save the bags and accessories uh for another time clothes for specific events and shoes and she, she suggests touching each item and considering how it makes you feel and not rationalizing whether you need it or whatever story you have for it. Don't use rationality. Use pure feeling. And I'm going to try that. We're going to see how it goes. check-in. I just did all of my tops. I've already filled the three crunch cans. Um, I think I got rid of about 65% to 75% of all of my tops, which is crazy. Uh, and it actually went so much faster than I thought it would. I thought I'd have so much trouble, but I really just 
like did an instant reaction. I didn't stop and think a long time about anything. Um, I just kind of picked up the thing and if I felt kind of good about it, I kept it and I was just kind of like didn't feel totally good about it. It just put it in the bin. There were a couple things that, um, really only like a handful of things that I kind of put on to see because I wasn't sure and I really wanted to see how they made me feel. Most of those things I ended up putting in the to give away bin. And I decided not to separate the, the bins now because I'm going to have to go back through and fold all the things that I'm donating anyway. So I'm going to separate things out afterwards um, about where they go to what donation. Um, but this is what I'm left with here. And it's a lot less. I mean, it is... Definitely 65% less, for sure. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I'm not gonna film like fast forward through footage of me doing this whole process, but I will show you what, what's left when I'm finished. Um, and we'll do like a before and after pile shot. But you guys, I'm like, this is exciting. I had no idea this would go so quickly or feel so good. Uh, I was a, like really overwhelmed when I saw the pile on the floor and it is actually, not feeling overwhelming at all. Um, it's actually quite liberating. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, keep chugging along. One hour later, I have cut it down by two thirds, to be honest. I mean, this is crazy. I flew through that. It still looks like a lot of clothes to me. I think it looks like a lot of clothes to everybody, but consi considering how much was there before, and I don't really, you know, consider myself like a major clothes horse or anything. Um, this is everything. All of my socks and underwear. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got rid of so many socks and underwear and tights. That whole garbage bag is full of just those things. Um, I really need some new socks and underwear. I've been putting it off for a long time and just finding socks that just always slip down my feet and they annoy me. So it's time to replace those, but... I packed four crunch cans. I mean, these are packed with stuff. And I'm going to fold and sort them and, and into the, you know, places I'm going to donate them to. But holy cow, this is everything, you guys. This includes all of my workout gear and lounge clothes and everyday clothes and dress clothes, everything. And I'm really, really pleased with myself. I only got stuck a few times and I kind of broke... Marie Kondo's rules and I have like seven items that I want to try on because I honestly couldn't get a good read from them when I was just holding them. So I've got three dresses, a skirt, and three pairs of pants I'm going to try on. I have a feeling about half of those things, if not more, are going in the to-go pile. But I am like stoked. This is awesome. And I can't wait to put everything back in my drawers and see how nice it looks. Um, so I'm going to do that now and then pull out my shoes because I am on a roll. Hey guys, I'm in my closet. It got kind of late last night, so I had to stop with the clothes. Um, but this morning, I just did my shoes, so I will give you a look at that. <laughs> And now I'm working on my bags and scarves. Uh, I already did my belts last night. I only have like six belts. So that was pretty easy. <laughs> um, but I just started going through my scarves, which I have here on the wall. And you can see them in a the heap, the ones I'm moving on from. And I started going through some of my pouches and things. This is where I keep all of my handbags uh, and wallets and pouches. Um, so I'm going to go through that. I actually did a big purge of this last fall and I already put some things aside for my upcoming charity auction, which should be launching very soon. Um, so anything I purge today, I think I'm going to set aside and tuck away for next year's charity auction because I already have quite a bit for this year. So um, I'll give you a look at uh, before and then we'll, we'll give you an after. <music> I basically just cleared out enough to fill a whole auction next year. Um, yeah, that went really well. And now I have two empty drawers. I'm not planning on filling those drawers, mind you. I'm going to probably reorganize this, but I'll just show you what the drawers look like now. This is the bag I'm currently using. Just had my filler in there. And my smaller Louis Vuitton Speedy. These are my totes. 
Uh, the, this one I don't keep in the bag, the dust bag, because I use it at least once a week. My Kuyana tote and another Louis tote in the bottom. Special painted one, a limited edition one I bought years ago. This is my mulberry drawer. Um, <laughs> those, are, those are my mulberry bags. This is my satchel drawer. I have two Kate Spades and then one Rebecca Minkoff and a Henry Bendel bag. This is my backpack and tote drawer. So I've got two Disney backpacks and one my Henry Bendel uh, mini jet setter. Two Longchamp bags. This is my small bag and clutch drawer. I didn't really pull anything out of here except for one bag. Um, and I only pulled one bag out of there too, but I pulled, you know, enough to take out two drawers worth, um, of the other bags. And then I got, uh, took two wallets out and my pouch collection still kind of remains the same, but I actually use those on a regular basis for travel and such. So that was pretty successful, I'll say. Okay guys, last but not least for the clothing purge would be my coats. Uh, I'm going to do the closet another day. The closet warrants a separate thing, but I'm going to do my coats and winter accessories like scarves and things. I already know I'm keeping all of those scarves because I wear them all the time, um, but I'm pretty sure I can pull out at least a third of these coats. Um, so let's do that. Well, I did it. I got rid of, I would say, just over half of the coats. Um, and I've kind of separated them into two piles uh, for different places to donate them to. Um, but that was good. I just left one hanger up because I have one coat that I'm repairing, a dress uh, raincoat. Um, and to note, there are two coats in here that I want to replace. My dress coat that I've had for the last decade, uh, my dress winter coat. I want to get a, a different style. Um, it's still a great coat though and I will definitely donate it once I replace it, but I have to keep it for now because I might need to wear it before I replace it and I'm in no hurry to replace it. Um, and then my winter puffer. Um, this one I really dislike and it's not my favorite. I sent my one that I like a lot back to North Face. They have a guarantee for life to fix the zipper. Hopefully that comes back and I can donate this one. Um, I bought this a long time ago. I've just never liked the way it's fit. It just kind of like feels awkward to wear. Um, so once I get that coat back, I can donate that one. I might hang on to my coat donations until next fall because it's a little bit past season for that and I'm not sure if there are any coat drives currently. But uh, if not, I will donate them now if I can find one. Otherwise, I have plenty of space in my garage to keep them in a bag ready to donate next year and I'll just make a note in my calendar. I also managed to clear out one pair of sunglasses and a bunch of scarves, hats, and gloves that just aren't my style. And I had all of those things with, you know, kind of in two bins. And I've narrowed it down to be just just over half of one bin instead of two. Um, so that's good. And now I am done with this section. Before I take you into the closet and show you the after, uh, I thought I'd give you a look at what I pulled out of the closet that I no longer need. About a bajillion hangers. I mean, those are pretty deep baskets. It's pretty deceptive. That's a lot of hangers. Look at all those boot um, fillers. Boot hangers? I don't know exactly what they're called. One of my flip-flop hangers, and then all of those shoe boxes had shoes in them. And I pulled those out. So, here is the after. It might look deceptive to you, but I actually changed the closet orientation. So, it's actually took out a whole section of the closet. Um, I have Alpha in my closet, which I designed and installed myself. When we moved in eight years ago, I love it because it's so flexible. I took those shelves and rods out, easy peasy. So everything is moved up a section and there is just so much less stuff in here. So let's do a proper tour just like I did with the before. Um, Back of the closet, you can see there's less robes. It's hard to tell, but there are several less hats, one less hanger of flip flops, and I did purge a couple of belts, but like I mentioned, I didn't have that many to begin with. The shoe area is completely different. It is chopped in half. Um, so I have all of my non-everyday shoes that are, you know, specific, like sandals, flats, heels, all organized just as I did before, but now up on the topper shelf, top shelves. And then I've moved my sweater boxes, which I keep my folded pants in as well, 
down here and I took a shelf out. It's one of the shelves I took out. So on the bottom row I have all of my knits. I have my um, pashminas. I have um, just one cardigan now left. I have my uh, pullover sweaters and then these are my flyaway sweaters that shouldn't be hung. And then the top I have kind of different kinds of pants, you know, corduroys and hiking pants. This one I have black pants and black pant leggings. I have two pairs of shorts and two pairs of capri jeans. And then this has my two pairs of bootcut jeans and one pair of skinny jeans. Um, and I find that's really all I need in the jean department, although I do want to buy one more pair of skinny jeans, maybe in a different wash. Then I've kept my more frequently worn shoes and boots as they were stored before. So you can see I have some sneakers and my clogs and some Uggs and then my boots I have whittled down but I've also hung a couple of boots like my cowgirl boots and my gray Uggs. Those weren't hanging before but there's room for them now so I hung them. And then I have two empty boxes here which I might end up putting my scarves in. I haven't decided yet. Um, but so basically I added the, I pushed the rod back over since I took all of those sweater boxes that used to be over here and I moved them and I pushed all the clothes over. So all of my decorative tops and everyday tops and things of that nature and flyaways and jackets and things that need to be hung are here. Um, so I've pushed it over as you can see and they're on the two sections and then below I have all of my sweatshirts and my active wear that needs to be hung and I have one skirt remaining <laughs> on the lower and you can see they're pretty well spaced. I mean there's quite a bit of um, spacing on this lower rack especially. On the upper rack I probably wouldn't want to put much more up there. Um, so that'll be a one in one out kind of thing if I purchase anything new. Uh, and then with my dresses, again, I moved everything over, but there's just so much more space on the rack. I still have them organized the same way with more of my spring summer dresses up front and my fall winter dresses in the back and my kind of fancier things in the back. Um, but you can see there's just so much more space between the hangers and um, more room to breathe. And now this section of the closet looks pretty empty, but I'm going to be doing something with it. I just am not sure yet, so we'll see what happens if I what I turn it into. I don't need it for storage necessarily, um, so we'll see. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to go through my drawers now and show you how they look, if they're different or not. This is my bathing suit drawer. It doesn't look different, but there's actually like four less bathing suits in it. And I've opened up some space in my other dressers, so I might actually move out of my nightstand my bathing suits back into my regular dresser. I made a lot of room in this piece. This used to be full of tights and stockings, and now it's just a few things. And no uh, shorts or capris in there. Here's the sock drawer. You can see there's a lot less going on in it now empty drawer these are my uh, decorative tees and tanks plain t-shirts and then undershirts and plain tanks they all fit very nicely in one drawer now and then these are my longer sleeve shirts um, and kind of pullover sweatshirts on the workout side here you can see there's a lot less going on in terms of workout underwear and sports bras this is my yoga drawer. Um, I only have one tank yoga top now and two long sleeve shirts, so I need to get some new ones. And then these are my yoga uh, legging pants, and then these are capris. I need like one more pair of capris and some new yoga tops. On this side, I have my gym shorts and gym tanks, and then these are um, like mesh shorts and um, sweat pants that I, you know, are neutral. And then my running drawer, I just pared it down a bit. Um, and I've got kind of my layering wear, my tanks, and then my um, uh, running tights and leg wear there. The slippers sock drawer had a nice transition. There's a lot less going on in there now, um, which is nice. I got rid of all of the really worn out old ones. And then this cabinet has been completely emptied, and I think I'm going to be able to take my travel cosmetic cases and things that I have stored in this, the stacking hat, uh, hat boxes over here and put them in here instead. Um, 
so then I can put those away or give them away or whatever, and I don't need them anymore. This bureau here, um, if you remember, half of it I share with my husband. This is my underwear drawer now, big difference. Um, I do need to buy some more underwear, but not a lot. No, don't need to buy things that I don't like. And then in here, big difference with the bra drawer. Now I have my two kind of dress bras and then um, two out of three of my everyday bras. Obviously I'm wearing one today. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy like one to two more bras. My sleepwear drawers probably change the least out of the bunch um, because they're all right. Um, but there's a few less things in here and also some of these nighties I'm not so fond of anymore and I wanna replace, but I need to keep those until I find new ones. I'm not in a particular rush. So when I do buy new ones, I will get rid of the old ones. And then I just got rid of a couple pairs of PJ pants I didn't really like anymore and some of my sleep shorts and all of the kind of extra underwear I had in here. So now it's just my kind of flannel sweatpants and um, pajama pants and my one pair of pajama shorts. That's everything. And now you can see all of that's going to donation or to charity. Um, kind of the same thing. I'll just walk you through it. The big black um, bags are Goodwill clothing. I haven't decided if I'm going to give them to Goodwill, American Vets, or the Epilepsy Foundation. It's going to be one of those. So I've got five big, big, big bags. There's a one bag of trash that's like socks and underwear that are just too, they're just, you know, we don't give those away. Uh, and then that bag right there is winter coats and accessories that I'm not sure if I can find a winter coat and accessory drive. Um, and I also want to wash a couple of those things, so I've left it open. Um, but everything else, by the way, is clean. I don't give away dirty things. <laughs> just make sure you always wash things before you give them away. So I'm going to look into that. As for the bags on the right here, on the, in the very back, that um, cloth bag, um, that I'm going to see if the people from um, Dreams Delivered, which the Women's Club of Evanston um, provides, is a service where they provide party dresses to underprivileged high school girls. So I've got shoes and some kind of youthful looking party dresses. And then the three bags next to that in the back, those I'm going to contact Bridge to Success and Dress for Success and see if they could use any of those things. They're more professional quality clothing and that's an organization that accepts donations um, to clothe people who can't afford, you know, like nicer looking business clothes to go on interviews. So I'm going to see if they would want any of those things. And if not, I will, if any of these organizations don't want these things, I will just donate them to the thrift shop, which I'm going to talk about in a second, or to Goodwill Salvation Army, one of those. The four, the three bags, the three um, Bath and Body Works bags, those I'm going to take to a thrift shop um, that is run by Shelter Inc., which provides um, emergency and long term, longer term housing and care for abused and neglected children and adolescents. Um, so they sell things. So I kind of picked out some of the nicer things to see if they want those. And in that little bag at the end there, I'm going to call up the North Shore Exchange, which is a high-end consignment shop. I, consignment? or I think it, you just donate things, and then they sell them, and they give the proceeds to organizations in the Midwest that um, provide help for families um, under the poverty line. Um, so they provide grants. And then the front two bins are all handbags and accessories that I am tucking away for next year's charity auction. I've got everything I need for this year and next year. Um, and speaking of this year's charity auction, that will be coming up really, really soon. Hopefully um, in the next week or so. So keep your eyes open for that. As you can see, I really did make a huge dent. Um, it's kind of hard to photograph my closet just because of the way that it is very narrow and kind of long and narrow. And it's just hard to photograph or film um, to get the best visual impact. But um, I really, it, it's such a difference walking into it. It is such a revelation. The difference this morning when I walked into my closet was astounding. Uh, and I am just so excited about it. And my drawers are like mostly half empty. And not that I'm like really excited about having empty drawers, but what I'm really excited about 
is having only things in my drawers that I really want to wear and like. Do you know what I mean? That's the exciting part to me. And not having to like visually process a lot of things that I don't like or don't care for before finding the thing I do like. That has already like within a day has been the biggest change and it just feels better. Now I've gotten some comments, I've been posting on Instagram about my process a little bit here and there, and I've gotten some comments like, well, it's a good thing you're doing that, but you can't go shopping now. You can't buy anything else once you've done that because then you'll just end up right back where you were. And actually that's not what Marie Kondo says and that's really not the point of the process. Let's be honest, you guys, I'm gonna buy new things every once in a while. In fact, I made a list throughout this process of things that I know I need because I got rid of most of them um, and things that I want to replace. I went ahead and outlined things as I was going through things like, oh, I really do need new workout clothes. That's a good example. I got rid of a lot of my workout clothes, um, specifically a lot of my yoga tops and capris that were more colorful and I've just been really more interested in black capris lately. So I need some another pair of yoga capri leggings because I got rid of like six and I only have one and I need a couple <laughs> to rotate through. Uh, and I got rid of all of my yoga tops because they were all that kind of really tight um, fitting thing that I was really into for the last, you know, 10, 12 years. Uh, but now I'm not. Now I'm wanting more looser fitting, kind of flowy workout tops, especially for yoga. Um, so I need to buy new yoga wear. But that's okay because I made room for that and I want to buy things that I actually want to wear now. Another example of things that I want to replace um, for instance, in my closet, I was talking about my coats, the dress coat, and my winter puffer. Um, I, can't I can't get rid of those right now because I still need them, but I am going to replace them before next winter, and when I do, I'm not going to keep the old ones. I'm going to get rid of those. Um, so I have a plan, and I have uh, an idea of the things that I would like in my wardrobe um, where there are holes now, um, but where they were items before that I had before but I didn't actually like or want to wear. So that's why I got rid of all of those things. Now I'm not going to go buying as much as I purge, obviously, that that would defeat the pur purpose. But I'm never, I'm not going to not ever shop again. That's just not realistic for anybody. You need new things every once in a while. You need your style changes, your, you know, your body shape changes. Um, I basically got rid of 98% of my bras. I have three bras now. And I used to have like 20. <laughs> not that I think I need 20 bras, but I think I'd really like maybe one or two more bras because uh, I just like to be able to um, kind of extend their wear by rotating them out more frequently. So I'd like to have probably five bras, not three. Um, so I'm going to buy a couple new bras. So uh, things like that. I mean, you just have to be realistic. There is, um, I think there, with this vibe of minimalism going on, I am never going to be a minimalist, you guys. It's just not my style. But I am getting rid of things and I am purging things because it feels right to me to do right now this part of my life. Um, I think you really just have to follow your gut feeling about that. I think there's a lot of fads with accumulating things versus purging things, versus, you know, whatever. Um, you have to figure out what what makes sense for you and what feels right for you. And also, everybody has different things that they like to repurchase or replace. Um, for me, for instance, I like to um, buy new makeup and replace that with some regularity because I love trying new things. That brings me joy. But things that I don't like to replace and repurchase a lot are home decor items. I decorated my home when we moved in and I really haven't bought anything since. And I don't feel like I need to buy new home decor items all the time. But that doesn't mean it's like I think it's wrong for someone who's really into that to, to buy those things. Um, th that's their prerogative. That's their choice. So, you know, you kind of have to think of what your interests are and what, what, what has value for you um, in terms of buying and repurchasing and purging and all of that. It really is an individual route. My hope is that in sharing how I did this, it will inspire you maybe to take a look at your wardrobe and, and to see if there's any spring cleaning you can do. I don't know if you want to try the, 
KonMari method or if you want to do it a little bit less drastically, I will say that it did have a very powerful impact on me. Um, and I'm excited about it. Um, so that's my spiel for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my clothing purge. I really am not sure how to go about the rest of this series. I want to target the rest of the stuff in my bedroom primarily first. So that's going to be my bathroom items and my beauty items. That's what's left. Um, and then I'm going to move on to books, uh, which are also stored in here in my office. But I want to do kind of the rest of the bedroomy stuff first. So I don't know if you guys want me to share my process for that, if that's interesting to you, if you just want like blog post pictures, or if you want a whole video, let me know. And I will try to work it out so that we can find some happy ground where we're, I'm sharing what you guys are interested in and, and what feels comfortable to me to share in a way that feels comfortable. But I'd love your feedback and love to know if you like the way that I um, organized this video. I felt kind of like helter-skelter with it because I really didn't know what I was getting into with the KonMari method, but um, I'm interested in what you guys have to say. Uh, as for the rest of my purging, am I gonna use the KonMari method Primarily, no, probably not, but I am going to borrow bits and pieces of the advice that really spoke to me from her book. Um, so you'll probably see elements of that from here on out. But let me know what you guys are interested in seeing, what you liked and what you didn't like about, about what I shared today. And I'd love to know if you are spring cleaning, home purging, clothes purging, whatever you're doing, um, let me know. I'm just so energized. I'm like a busting with energy. Busting? No, I am bursting with energy to um, kind of attack the rest of my home. And I'm so excited to be able to share it with you in whatever capacity we figure out works for everybody. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys are well. Happy spring cleaning if you are in that mode. And feel free to share in the comments, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Let me know. I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and take good care. Bye, you guys.